Good evening. Uh, welcome to the music of the night. We had some technical difficulties tonight, so uh, we're going to have sort of a one-minute recap. My name's Karnas. I'm your GM. With me tonight is KC playing Petrus Feinsteiger, Ice Nine playing Maya Barkley, uh, Bexen playing Karen Storm, and Dr. Hamfist playing Obadiah Blanche. You ruined uh, it. The larger half. Sorry. Of the, OB the larger and half of the Obi and Toby duo. Or taller, taller half. Taller. Yeah. Taller I, I screwed it up. So, last time, people learned some stuff, found out some, about some horcruxes, uh, went to the police station, and made dates. And at so the beginning enough. of this session, <laughs> I sadly ducked the 90s dress-up montage to um, just get a quick makeup job, and then we ducked by the hardware store to pick up some extra salt, and also some blow torches. Apparently I found a rather nice blow torch, which is cool. Although my uh, yes. money is probably gone because of that. Y you did you did burn your money, um, but you are stocked on salt. Okay. And you found a handful, like, a, a handful of your normal butane torches that you'll find at any hardware store, as well as a very nice upper-end two-tank acetylene torch. Uh, which you can use for a lot of things, amongst which um, a little bit of soft welding, but some soft. Welding. It doesn't like JC. Yeah, it's, it's hard welding. It's they not an arc welder or anything like that, but also there's a petition online to change the name of this to "Technical Difficulties of the Night." <laughs> so you can help sign sign the petition in the in the description. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> it's funny. We need like a hundred signatures, so it might not happen, but... It's funny. <laughs> uh, anyways. So, you guys pick up your stuff, and I feel like I'm talking into a can. Do I sound weird to you guys? You sound fine. No. Somebody okay. have an echo going on? Here? Yeah, I'm getting some serious echo, and I don't know why. I'm on headphones, so you shouldn't be getting my noise. I output. muted myself. Hold on, let me try. You're imagining things. real quick. Casting video, All I right. checked. Nope. Still getting echo. What the fuck? Oh well. Check. Go to your gear. What? Go to your gear. No, no, it's go cool. Gear. Yeah. We're gonna go before yeah. my computer explodes. So to the uh, the cricket, I take it. I imagine that's about all the time we have. Um, Did Wayne right. know we were coming with? He did, yeah, because... Yeah, know, so I, I think know. my plan was, um, and I would have mentioned this to you as well, like, I'm thinking we don't want to, like, overload him with people, but maybe, like, me, Maya, and Luca. That's the whole backstory was you and me. Right, yeah, I know. I mean, you and me for sure, but I'm thinking Luca as well. You're uh, Luca's a friend, you know. And then maybe Karen and Obadiah can be on hand, ready to spring into action if something happens. Toby and I will practice our stop sign ripping out of the ground action so it doesn't take two tries next time. Oh, please nice. don't get arrested for government. I mean, because I'm, I'm pretty sure we have two cars Property. at this point, because we have Lucas and we have mine, so. I mean, I'm not sure how much action I'm going to be springing to, but... Are we going to check on Violet, by the way? Uh, Luca just came from there, and her parents are with her. And I called... Yeah, that's why Luca came, and then we found out, and then blah, blah, blah. And then blah, blah, blah. All right. So you guys head to the cricket. You get there. Uh, as you are pulling up, you see the what are you doing very with the uh, yummy mountain of muscle that is uh, Wayne Johnson. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. I can't I just, hear you. I just had Seriously? to record that for posterity. Hear us? Words, words, words. Are you freaking kidding We can all hear each other, brah. Hello? Everybody. Hello? Can we are speaking. Us? I'm talking. We are I can't hear you. Yada 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 yada. Test, 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 test. We're all talking. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Where is that petition? Okay, how about now? Sign it. <laughs> nope. You sign the petition. Better sign it. <laughs> Holy good fuck! I'm just an ad for the for the petition, really. Uh, this is sponsored content. He's probably like he's uh, face -palming. closing Discord and then re-uploading it. Hello? You know what there I'm talking about. I don't... I, <laughs> this is... Seriously. Somebody doesn't want this game to continue. <laughs> it's Molina. Because you keep talking about ghosts. <laughs> don't talk about that. Anyways. Yeah, you're going to freak him out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But. So. Uh, yes. Uh, you pull up. Wayne is there. He looks... Very delicious and caramel. Ugly. Okay. Um, I'll just walk up and say, uh, hello, Officer Johnson. Thanks. Um... Oh, gosh. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> he, 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 does, he does this. Hello, Wayne. Sorry. I was <laughs> maybe trying too hard. That's, You're on duty, uh, right? Of course. It's, uh, it's no problem. Hey, Petra, how are you? All right, um, sort of look around. Anyways, uh, thanks so much for doing this for us, um, and I'll just sort of gesture. Yeah, yeah, it. um, let's go around the back real quick. Okay. He, uh, takes you around to the back entrance, uh, gently, uh, untapes the couple of strips that say police, and, uh, opens the door, sort of gestures for you guys to go in. Okay. Does he come That's what I sexually identify as. I mean, he falls in after you, yes. Okay, so I head towards the register to see... What did we tell him I was looking for? I forget. Said it was like oh, a I... family heirloom. Oh, if it's a family heirloom, then I can family just family. go straight for the coin. Yeah, yes. Then that's just I, what I, I I was do. not specific as to its exact nature. I just didn't know if we're like, I left my purse, and uh... I have to like grab the coin while reaching for the purse. <laughs> So, nope, I go straight for the coin then. Is it there? Oh, wait, by the way, can I specify before anything That's happens? where I'm going. Yeah, I guess. Go ahead. I, What I would have wanted to set up, actually, is that Obadiah and Toby have the blowtorch and will be waiting some distance away. Okay. We're holding a stop sign into a spear. Yes. Okay, Karen has the blowtorch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That's all. Can Karen carry the blowtorch? She just has to stand by it and give it uh, to Obi when it's appropriate. Yeah, I know. So he I need it right spirit. now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I am the responsible okay. one. <laughs> so, Maya, you go and you, first of all, make me a uh, wits investigation check because the place is a wreck. Um, there are chairs and tables tossed everywhere. Glasses are broken. Bottles are shattered. Um, the bar is literally like flipped up against another wall. So you have to find the register first. One success. One success. So you uh, find the register. Go over. Um, takes you a second, but you. Uh, pop the drawer open and you look in and there is indeed a odd strange silver coin with what looks to what appears to be latin written on it is this register iron no i kind of poke uh, it a little bit dumb. before i touch it like before i go to grab it I, I, Wrap it in something. I've at, watched at it a point, if, if I notice the look of recognition on Maya's face, I want to sort of like nudge Luca. Uh, wit's empathy. I will also make a wit's empathy. Right. Uh, so be... uh, okay. Okay. Uh, you go. You sort of nudge Luca, and uh, as you do, he's already sort of stepping forward. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Ma Maya Luca reaches down and sort of like 
gently sort of touches your arm as you sort of reach towards the coin. And he uh, pulls out a handkerchief and hands it to you. You know what? That's probably good. Oh, well, my fingerprints would be on it anyways. Okay. Because, I mean, I worked there. Yeah, okay. but it's it's best not to uh, take no, chances. I'm, I'm thinking about you guys shouldn't touch the register. Oh, That's I mean, if he looks around, I think we're all regulars. Shouldn't be a problem. The register? Okay, whatever. I grab the coin. Okay. okay, and if nothing's happening, then I think we're heading out. All right. You guys leave. Uh, on your on your way back out, um, Wayne sort of gently touches your shoulder, Petra, mm -hmm. and he says, "Hey, so uh, what what's this heirloom that your friends after?" Old coin from her grandma. Apparently, came from somewhere overseas. Hmm. The motherland. Okay. All right. I was curious. I don't know why she keeps it in the register. Apparently. But I thought I was kind of weird myself. Anyways, I guess she handles it with no, but oh well. What are you going to do? So, uh, Saturday then. thought it was Wednesday. Wednesday? Oh, Wednesday then. <laughs> Looking that forward was a GM pickup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, uh, Wednesday then. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. <laughs> yeah, no pressure, right? Nope, and, and then I sort of soften a bit. Um, no pressure at all. He, uh, like, starts to, like, go for a handshake and then, like, stops and then sort of, like, leans in and kisses your cheek and turns around. Okay, I'll sort of, like, I'll sort of hug him back. <laughs> it is... Uh, roll for awkwardness. What's that roll? You succeed. <laughs> <laughs> what is the um, height difference between the two? Uh, Petra's like averageish height. Okay. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little <laughs> above average for a woman. I'm like five eight. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah, slight. And Wayne's like six one, six two. So it's not. <sighs> You're huge. both tall. Yeah. We're 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 both slightly tall. Yeah, yeah, they're both slightly above average. You look tall together. <laughs> Anyways, you so think tall babies. You guys have uh, you have a denarius. I feel like I kind of like hold it out at Luca. I go, what he, do I do? Uh, he reaches into his pocket and pulls out a very familiar looking bag and opens it up. And I drop it in. And he and I go like this. He cinches the uh, <laughs> bag shut, ties it, sticks it back in his pocket. Well, actually, as this is going down, I'll say, is the coast clear? I mean, we probably should get a little bit further away from the True. cricket. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, he's sort of yeah. walking back to his squad car, which is in the same general direction you right. guys are going. Yeah, I mean, suffice to say, the plan is basically find the nearest area where we can do this without drawing a lot of attention. and The riverfront. Yeah. yeah, the riverfront. It's where there's, pretty, there's nobody there. It's pretty deserted, honestly, okay. most I of guess, the time. I, I guess in the morning it would be. Unless there's the like early a festival afternoon. going on. It's always been empty when I go there. Yeah, but I mean, there's like people driving by constantly. <laughs> not if you go down like in the park part where there's like not the road anymore. Okay, that's true. All right, I'll accept it. Unless you guys would rather go somewhere else. No, sounds good to me. Okay, you guys head down to the riverfront. Oh, I do. Uh, I do want to yes. at least give it the once over with the EMF before we actually do anything to it, though, just to get some degree of confirmation. Sure. You head down to the riverfront. Uh, there's a little wooden. No, not the wooden area. There's a little path off the uh, the bri wooden bridge that uh, is down the bank of the river, so it's out of sight from most of the streets. There's not really anybody around. Uh, you think you might see somebody fishing off in the distance down the way, but not close enough to really recognize what you guys are doing. 
Luca pulls the coin out and sort of drops it onto a rock. You EMF it, it goes Burn it down. Well, salt it and burn it down, but yeah. Okay. You do this thing. It is salted. It is burned. What next? Well, can that... you do the EMF on it again after it's burnt? I mean, sure. I'll do it again. Should that go away if we killed it? Ideally, yeah. It would. The signature would be different. I'll check oh, it again. Oh, in the river. Measure. It might super work. You check it. Uh, it is a very different signature. You're not really near any electronics. Um, you register almost nothing. All right. Okay. Well, I think that's three down. Um, okay, fine. I pick up the rock and throw it in the river. The rock <laughs> the yes. Just, just as the nails in the coffin. <laughs> Karen, you're with us now, right? Is anybody? I have no idea. In the eye out or anything? While you oh. guys are doing this? I didn't even know where I was. Karen's keeping an eye out right now, I think, because that sounds like a good job. I mean, I imagine anyone who wasn't I'm fucking useless. actually doing the job of melting it down would be. I'm trying to make sure. I'm trying to keep an eye out so Toby doesn't come out. I'm trying to craft a spear out of a stop sign. I don't know if you'd okay. call that keeping an eye out. I'm going to go with no. Eye out. And also destruction of public, public property, but. Uh... It's my own personal stop sign. I brought it with me. Why don't we head back to the car? Okay. Sounds good. Maybe we should either regroup at the game shop or check on Vi or maybe drive past that house. Well, Those are the thoughts I have. So, if I'm right, the three leads that we have left are um, the home of that woman. I'm forgetting her name, but that you just mentioned. Oh, yeah, Anne Hathaway? Hathaway? Wait, what? Anne, Anne yeah. Haysworth. Haysworth. Hathaway. Yeah. <laughs> it's similar, okay? Um, Just like Wayne Johnson. Yeah, yeah. And, it's less similar than Wayne Johnson. <laughs> um, and the funeral home and that girl. We've got no particular leads on finding that girl, but the other two for sure, this is what I'm thinking. Obviously. Are we walking back towards the car right now? Okay, sure. If not, I start to move us that way as we're talking. Yeah, sure. sure. I go along with that. Um, I keep an eye out because I don't like being creepy forests. Uh, I mean, it's not really a forest forest. It's it's, it's lightly way. wooded. So here's the thing. There was what? an attack when we checked out the auction house, right? So I'm thinking that the funeral home may have something similar going on which might actually be a reason to go there first while it's still daytime. Oh, that's a good idea. When it at least might be weaker. Um, Luca sort of goes, well, I mean, we should try to get them all during the day if we can. Of course, but if we happen to miss one for some reason, I'd rather get that one out of the way. Whereas well, if it's nighttime, the other one, frankly, being a crime scene, are... at least has the advantage that it might be less watched at night. How far True. out of the way is it? To go to her house. It's right around the corner, right? Right or around the corner. To, no, to go to the funeral home. I'm sorry. Uh, the funeral home is down in Akron. It's a uh, 15-ish, 20 minutes away. That's the only concern I have, is if we try to do that, we're not going to get... Okay. Is that, is so well, so it's that's still fairly uh, early in the day. We've got, it's about 12.30. Yeah. We've got... Um, it's a 15-minute drive down, so why don't we go by Anne's house? see if it looks like something we could get into, and if it doesn't, then we'll go to the funeral home and try again later. I mean, since we're already right here. Cool. Okay. Karen, make me a wits composure roll for your keeping an eye out. Uh, nice scroll. Get? 
three. Uh, you see crows. And you hear some cars sort of drive along the uh, expressway that you can't quite see, but you know is past some trees that are on the other side of the river. But other than that, you don't really feel much or notice anything out of the ordinary. Guys, the crows are watching. Guys, the damn crows are back. Can't really do anything about it, right? I don't know. Luca, can we do anything about it? Uh, he opens a coat jacket, looks down, closes it. Not without making it significantly worse. All right, great. I think then the we best can. we do is just pretend like we don't notice while noticing. They can probably hear us talking about them right now. Well, there is there is one thing I can do, but we're going to have to leave the cars behind. Let's wait until it's a bigger yeah. moment for that, I'm thinking. Thanks. Okay, that's kind of how I felt about it. Also, this isn't exactly the prime time for it, either. Okay, cool. The witching hour. Mm, so, no, just more okay. shadows. So can we have to fit in two cars right now, right? Yes, there are two vehicles. Okay. Let's uh, go. All right. Where, where, are you, where to first? To the Hayworth house? Yeah, we're driving past it on the way to the funeral home. All right. So we're not gonna. We're not gonna. But it's not like you're going very far to the Hayworth house. So yeah, I mean we. We're not it's going so close. to the house. We're going past the house. There's a difference. Just because we're in the general area. Yes. We're gonna check it out and see how vulnerable it looks. Okay. Uh, you like drive other people past? watching. <laughs> Yeah, uh, make me wits composure rolls or wits investigation rolls as you drive past. All of us? And Petra, as you're driving, are you trying to appear uh, uninterested and just sort of like driving past normally? If so, make me a dexterity drive. Okay, do I also get the perception Am I check? Uh, I will allow the perception check on minus two. Okay, so... Let me see, dexterity, here's dexterity drive, and there's the next composure. Okay. Although, I think we have two cars at this point, so somebody else is driving. Yes, somebody is also sense. driving. All right. Uh, so that's one from Petra, three from Maya, one from Karen. My, okay. my one was on the driving. Oh, your one was on the driving. Okay. Did right. Obadiah do it? No. He's only out. He's not looking. Okay. Uh, so Maya and Karen. Uh, Karen, you notice that, uh, again, the crows are following you. Same Maya. Um, you both notice that there are people walking past on the street as you're driving past. Um, aside from them, you don't see anybody else up or down either street. Uh, Maya, you do, however, notice that as you drive past and Petra takes a turn to go up the street because the house is on, not on the corner, but next to the house on the corner. So as you drive past and she turns to go up so you guys can sort of get a look at the back of the house, you notice that it looks like the back door is slightly ajar. I share this information calmly with my cohorts in the car. Guys, the back door is open. So Luke is driving the other car. Who's, I, I guess Maya is probably with Luca. Yeah, how did you guys break up the uh, the groups? I was thinking I was in Petra's car, to be honest. But okay. Same. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we've then all I guess been in your car. Luca has I just thought the Obi and Toby. Kind of Toby. Toby and Obi are with Luca. Okay. Done. All right. So it's divided and, men and women. And yeah. are, we in the, are we in the lead? Because that's kind of what this I was figuring, too. Car. Yeah, yeah. Luca's following Petra. Okay. Yes. Um, I'll, I'll say that could be a reason to go in or a reason to stay away. Um, just call Luca. Okay, I call Luca. 
Luca, I don't know if you saw, but the back door is open. Do you think we should stop? I didn't see that, no. Uh, you, you see him sort of look, look from side to side. Let's drive up the street a little bit and find a place to park. And then anyone who can sneak can come with me and we'll go see what we can see real quick. How do we? Okay. I relay the information to those in my car. Okay. I'll find a place to park. Okay. You guys park at a uh, side street, a couple streets down. Uh, Luca gets out. Walks up. All right. Who's... Uh, Whose criminal record was expunged at 17? He raises his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody uh, else? I'm pretty sure that. he's got a criminal record. Oh, yeah, not that I remember. Toby. No, you're aware that you do. Like just from yesterday, he has a criminal record. I don't know. I told him he's not like that. I mean, Obadiah, you would, you would know that you have, like, Probably some charges for a, like a light assault and battery. Yeah, but I'm like innocent. Bar brawls so and it's stuff. Not, no, it's, it's it's not a criminal record if you're innocent. It's just a mistake. Oh you know? no, no. See, you know that they're wrong, but you also know that you know they just have to get criminal record. It's it's an honest mistake. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, in in all honesty, I like having. Obi Toby, when we go into unknown situations where we could need to. Uh, Toby but... sort of like takes a step back. He's like, "I'm, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm gonna stay out here at the car. It, somebody should watch the car." Okay. I'll make sure he at least has the keys then. I call Toby a wuss. <laughs> he shrugs. And uh, I vote to walk down the street a little bit. Within earshot and sight of everybody, but not obviously connected to whatever is going okay. down. I mean, everybody, you guys are uh, about two and a half, three blocks away from the house at the moment anyways. So, so we can I, just I, go for a stroll. I, I look at see Luca. If, see if crows follow us. I say, I can follow your lead, Luca. Okay. Uh, he looks up at the crows. Looks down. Shakes his head. All right, let's, uh, he leans up against a fence that is right up against the sidewalk mm -hmm. and makes the, uh, the cupping motion for your foot and sort of nudges ahead towards the fence. Make right. me a, uh, strength athletics plus two. Okay. Wait, what? I missed wherever that cue was. <sighs> Uh, right, Petra run, uh, takes a, a sort of a slight jog, puts a boot into Luca's hands, and he vaults her over the fence. And she disappears, uh, does a little bit of a tuck and roll up at the top, and you guys barely hear her as she lands. That was hot, Petra. Nice. Maya, Luca looks at you and just puts a finger to his lips. I, I whispered it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there anybody else coming, or is it just the two of us? I don't know if I can do that. All right. Obi, you coming? I am coming. All right. Do you need a lift? <laughs> you look Probably up. not. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I reach my hands up and reach the top of it. <laughs> All right, make me a... Uh, a uh, strength athletics roll. And uh, Luca. All right. Uh, reaches up, puts a boot against the fence, and it quickly pulls and pushes at the same time. Again, up, rolls, over, lands. Due to said fence, I'm hanging back with Karen. <laughs> All right. Success. Yep. That's you fun. pull yourself up and over. Sort of do the uh, the vaulters like press against the top of the fence, swing your legs over, land, and now. Ryan and I have casual conversation. 
Now, time for some of them dexterity stealth rolls. It's good I'm not part of these rolls. <laughs> Ooh. Exceptional success. Mm. For who? Three success. For Obadiah. Or not for Obadiah, for Luca. Oh, All good. Right. Uh, Obi, Petra, you guys turn and look to Luca, and he's not there. <laughs> <laughs> and then he sort of uh, ducks around the corner of the house. That you guys, whose yard you guys jumped into, and he sort of like does the uh, like wave eyes, and uh, he points at Obi and points to one side of the house. He points at Petra. He points to the other side of the house, and then he sort of moves ahead. You guys sneak along both sides of this house, uh, up past the front. There's some bushes that you can sort of uh, crouch next to up at the front of the the front of the house. Um, there's a car that drive by, drives by. You guys wait for that. You move across the street quickly, keeping an eye out and into the next yard. Then it's over another fence and such a similar thing. So you get to the backyard of the Hayworth house where the door stands slightly ajar. Okay. Uh, as you by the come way, up for the record, can I say yes. I would have had my bag thrown over as well? Sure. Okay. Uh, so, That's as you get to the back of the house, you also notice that the uh, police tape has been broken. So somebody has apparently been here since last night. In school. Well... Sounds like a good time to uh, go in carefully in case somebody is still there. Try not to draw attention, but try to also figure out if we can see what they were looking for. Okay. Did you say that out loud? I mean, something of the... I mean, like, only if I don't see that to be the unspoken understanding. Okay. Uh, Luca sort of takes a step up towards and just sort of like waits for a moment, listens. Then he takes a slow step inside, looks around, pops back. Doesn't seem like there's anyone in here. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look around, see what we can see. And they step in. The uh, inside of the Hayworth house is pretty typical, um, pretty standard uh, kitchen right off the main door there uh, with the living room off to the left. Um, as you, if you go through the living room and around, you find the stairs that lead upstairs. Uh, you see um, the balcony. There's a sort of, so it's an open, ceiling in the sort of foyer so you can see up to the balcony in the upstairs um there's some remnants of what looks to be maybe bed sheets hanging off the railing of the balcony as well as uh some blood stains up at the top of the stairs as you guys walk past Interessante. how are you guys looking to make uh in what are what exactly investigations are you guys looking to make? I guess is a question. I'm looking for Sasquatch. Okay. And Sasquatch shopping, Sasquatch footprints, anything uh, Sasquatch. Me... You're very helpful. I, I guess I guess what I'm asking is there is there, is there anything specific you are searching for, Petra? <laughs> okay. Oh, well. God damn it! I, I was waiting to give Obadiah a chance to talk because I always talk. Um, I. Uh, probably mostly be focusing on like I mean I imagine whatever we're looking for is likely not to be hidden um, so focusing on anything that I see made of metal um, I'll probably just sort of take out the EMF and just sort of sweep around generally to see if I pick up any sort of residue uh, that okay. kind of thing 
All right. Uh, and I mean, I guess you... if the Haysworths were really into BDSM, I might check for a flog as well. Okay. Uh, Obadiah, make me a wits and composure check or a wits investigation check. Same with you, Petra. I'll do, I'll do with you, Petra. Or you know what? Ob Obadiah, you can make a wits survival if you really want. I'll do with composure. Okay. Nice. Oh, I'll also I'll also allow a cult, I guess. I but think nothing can beat my wits composure, though. Probably so. not. All right. So, two successes, two successes, and two successes for Luca. All right. Uh, Pet, uh, you notice Obadiah that uh, Petra and Luca pull out. Um, Sasquatch detectors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and start sort of fanning out and sort of running them along, you know, various places that uh, aren't walls that might have lines in them and things. You, Did they find any Sasquatch? Uh, they haven't found anything just yet. You are looking for signs, claw marks, uh, in embedded footprints, uh, any sort of Sasquatchy type things, when out of the corner of your eye, you see a glass display cabinet. Okay. And in front of a Sasquatch plate, a commemoral Bigfoot plate, you see two silver or pewter sort of wine goblets. Huh. They smell of Sasquatch. They smell of Sasquatch. Like, hey, people, look! How loud is that? <laughs> I guess we're in a house. Barely. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll Sasquatch cups. I'll stop what I was Sasquatch doing. Wine glass. Come over to Obadiah. What's up, Obadiah? These Sasquatches were winos. <laughs> Do I understand that? Uh, yeah, you have to just simply say. Okay, then I'll walk over. And... You also remember the story about the chains possibly being melted down into goblets. Right, so I'll check them out. With your stupid identical numbering bullshit. You uh, check them out. They scream. All right. Um, is Luca coming running? Uh, yeah, he's right behind you. Okay. He didn't come running because he's trying to maintain quiet. Oh, but... sure. yes. Um, I'll, <laughs> just, I'll, just, I'll just sort of point. Um, I think we found it. He says, yeah, yeah, I think we did. So, it's in that fancy bag again. Uh, he brings out the bag, which is, like, this big. Okay. <laughs> it's like a dice bag. Okay. Oh. It's and that he goes, small. Yeah. He goes, uh, hold on. He runs out to the kitchen, comes back with, um, one of those nice satchel bags that people mm -hmm. who are concerned about the environment take when they go grocery shopping. Yeah. And he holds it open. Okay. Um, I'll find some piece of cloth around me and grab them with that and dump them in. In they go. All right. Um, and with that, so... You got, with that, you guys hear a um, small crash upstairs. I... How... When, when you say small crash... Which, which direction does it sound like it's coming from? Upstairs and like, towards can, the back of the house. Well, can we tell, like, towards the back of the house? Yeah. You guys are at the, in, like, sort of the foyer slash dining room area, which is at the front of the house. The stairs have, are almost directly to Have we left. noticed? What? And which, which, if you say left, like, is that on the side of the house or is that in the front or the back, the stairs? The stairs are, are basically, if you're, if you're, have your back to the front door, the stairs are almost directly in front of you, just to your left. And they go up, and then there's a sort of open landing area, and then a, you see a bedroom door that you can actually see the top of from down here, 
and then you see what looks to be like two hallways sort of split off down either okay. way. Okay, so like immediately what I want to do, because I think if I'm understanding this correctly, it's like we're here, the stairwell comes in, like in front of that, and then the back where we want to exit is further on, right? Yes. So I want to immediately at least get myself to the foot of the stairs. <laughs> so That's actually if, what I do as well. If I were to draw you a quick map. So if this is the back of the house here with the back door open as such. And this is the front door here. This is sort of the dining room area. This is sort of the family room. Uh, this is the kitchen. Stairs are here. Okay. And then on the upstairs, what you can see is sort of a bedroom door here and then hallways heading down this way and then the stairs. Oh, don't do that. Why did you do that? Stop. I don't like you right now. Stairs coming up this way. That's supposed to be stairs. Okay. That's fine. It's getting frustrating. <laughs> there right. we go. So I, I, I'm going to immediately move to like here just so I can look up. and But then I'm going to sort of wait and be ready to run if I need to. <laughs> Okay. Uh, as soon as the uh, the crash happens, um, Luca has the gun out, sort of. Okay, I'll takes a that. takes a step back to see if he can see anything up over the uh, balcony. Mm -hmm. Doesn't. Looks at the two of you. Well. Sort of was a get in, get out sort of situation. What do you say? Is there any other noise coming? You don't hear anything else after that, no. If it was after us, I imagine it would have come already, right? Worth checking out? Probably. All right. Obi, you want to go first? Sure. Okay. Although I am feeling slightly less brave without Toby. <laughs> you head up the stairs. Uh, Luca up behind you, and Petra takes up the rear, I guess. Sure. Okay. You get to the top of the stairs. Uh, there is indeed two hallways to either side. Uh, at the end of one hallway, you see what looks to be a closet and a open door to a bathroom. Uh, the other hallway uh, ends almost immediately at a door that's closed, and then ahead of you is a what looks to be a bedroom door that is slightly ajar. All right, bedroom door that's slightly ajar is what draws my interest. Okay. Okay, so I'm saying let's not actually enter. Just open the doors, look in, get out. Yeah, I, I don't want to, like, burst in necessarily, but... The door opens to uh, the inside of the room, right? The door opens in, yes. Basically what I'm door. thinking is, Gently. if this is okay. some kind of trap from some sort of weird thing, it probably involves us actually going in. So let's see if we can see anything from the doorway, and if not, we've got our escape path, is All right. my idea. Uh, Obadiah, you take a boot and sort of gently push the door open. Uh, you see a bedroom that looks fairly ransacked. Uh, looks like there was some struggle. You see some blood. Uh, you see some blood spray on the ceiling, as well as one wall. Um, there's some dresses that have been pulled out of one of the closets and thrown. Uh, underwear drawers and sock drawers and clothes thrown all over. 
as though something bad happened, and then also somebody came through and sort of ransacked the room. Okay. So you also notice a uh, jewelry box that's uh, open and be mostly empty and hastily sort of emptied. Yeah. Actually, I think I got my answer from this room. Do you go in? No, I'm not going in. Okay. That's all I need to know. Yeah, Luca looks in. Just scavengers. Come on, let's get out of here. Um, sure. I'm going to nudge the other door open on the way out just to see what it is. Okay. Uh, you nudge it open. Looks like it's some sort of uh, home office. There's a computer that's off. A handful of uh, magazines and book, a bookshelf with some, some books on it. A desk with uh, an honest-to-goodness, like, Re or uh, some sort of journal or something on it, and some pens and paper. Archaic things of the past. <laughs> a journal? Can I see... Like, is it handwritten? Or it does seems it just to be look from, like a journal? It, it's closed. You, you can't tell. Okay. I, I'm not going to... I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'll just follow. Okay. Take the journal. I want to take the journal, but I'm concerned about going into places. Especially alone. What does Luca do? Hold on. Oh, Luca's already heading down. He sort of looks up at Petra and she sees that she's heading, looks in and heads over and heads back downstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You guys head out the back of the door. All right, let's get back to and, the car. Uh, yep, you sneak out, and once you get out uh, the back fence, you guys just walk down the sidewalk and back to the cars. All right. Um, uh, Karen, Maya, and Toby, you guys see the other three walking up. Luca has a, uh, like a satchel slung over his shoulder. I like how you included Toby in the group you were speaking to. Yep, I did that. <laughs> in case he didn't know. <laughs> so, time to find another quiet place. Game shop? Or are we are we skipping the funeral home then? I think that's next stop. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, I'm with you. Uh, yeah, let's get out of this neighborhood though. Not a bad idea. All right. Um, sure. Uh, the store, the shop's not uh, not more than 10, 15 blocks away. Yeah, let's I've got go there. I've I've got a good uh, good concrete floor we can use. Do it. You guys head to Black Tower Games. Dark Tower Games? No, it's Black Tower now. It changes. Nope, it's Dark Tower. It, it changes. It changes daily. It does. <laughs> There's a rotating sign and sign elves. Right, you guys head to Dark Tower Games. You pull up. You go inside. Go downstairs to the uh, makeshift gym. Luca drops the bag, Ooh. upends it, and out rolls one goblet. Just one? Just what one. happened to the other one? I the other no. I ate the second one. They're like sharks in the womb. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not how cups work. But I appreciate your These help. these are Sasquatch wine glasses. They're not like normal cups. Did you get pickpocketed, Luca? That would be my guess. By what? I'm guessing a, a ninja. person. A really, really good It was a person. Sasquatch, you're wrong. And they Well just got one. 
Weren't you holding the thing closed? No, I just had it over my shoulder when we... I had both hands on my gun when we went upstairs. Um. Oh. Well, we can be pretty sure this is the one that doesn't matter that we still have. Can Melt it anyway! Can you EMF it, please? Yeah. I mean, I did it at the house. It, uh, it, oh yeah, no, but it's you had definitely. Both. You had both at the house. It's definitely very live. Okay, so from what I know, will it do us any good to just melt down one of them? Other than the fact that we get it out of the way? I mean, yeah, you get it out of the way, and you're going to have to melt down them both. Right. We might as well not carry it around, too, because we'll just have it. It's also, it's also possible it could do some damage. Just melt it. What kind of damage. All right, let's do it. It could, what kind it could of weaken Melinda's hold. It could. Oh do, yeah, yeah. Oh, it it, it yeah, could weaken sure. her essentially. That's not damage. That's help. Hey Luca, do you have any fancy tracking spells to track the cousin twin brother of this? I uh, yes. Yes, actually, Petra, don't melt it yet. Good call, girl. All right. He uh, grabs the torch and sort of slowly separates the uh, base from the rest of the cup. Um, runs upstairs, comes back down with a bowl, a odd-looking um, sort of maybe stone or ceramic knife, uh, as well as a bag that looks like it's got um, maybe South American or Central American native symbols on it of some kind. Goes over to a table that has some staves and swords and stuffs on it, pushes it out of the way, sets the bowl down, drops the piece of the cup in, takes Slits his hand, drains a little bit of blood over it, wraps his hand up, throws some stuff from the bag in, looks at one of the bottles, goes, I, and sort of looks at it, shrugs, pours it in. Okay. He would willpower this. Uh, there's a small flicker of some sort of blue flame, and he picks up the disc, uh, takes out a necklace from around his neck, takes the medallion off of it, puts it in his pocket, and uh, sort of ties one end of it around and holds it out like a sort of like a dowsing rod, and it begins to swing. And as it slowly stops swinging, it leans ever so slightly in one direction. Who knew the dress and files were real? Are we going to follow it? Uh, he's looking at it, he's like, well, that's not nearly as drastic as when Vi does it. But hey, it's, uh, it's a thing, right? So can we melt the rest of it? I don't know. I would I wait until we that find will, the other piece. will affect the spell in any way. Let's hold on to it and let's Closer. honestly take care of this right away while we got this going. Agreed. All right, let's. How uh, big is Luca's car? <laughs> uh, it's a sedan. It can fit the six of you, not uh, comfortably, but. I mean, might be worth squeezing at this point. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, you guys get in the car. Karen sits on Maya's lap. We're friends now. <laughs> I don't know. I figured we'd put the smallest person on another smaller person's lap. I don't know. Wait, Anyhow. M type. Well, I mean, Maya's not like small, small, but she's smaller than Obi or Toby. That's why I'm underneath and you're on top of me. That is why. Yes. You don't want Toby to sit on you? 
Obi maybe, might crush you. Maybe Obadiah wants Toby. But again, to maybe him. it's worth having to. Oh no, nah, that's fine. That's no, fine. no, it's fine. Well, helps me feel safe. Um, <laughs> All right. Luca hands the uh, totally platonic <laughs> the leather thong to whoever's sitting next to him. The what? The leather thong. The, the strap. Piece of leather. Yeah, it's yeah, called see the thong, one meaning okay. of the word okay. thong totally That is not what I thought words. of when you first said that word. Because uh, we're I'm talking about Toby saying. and Obi. And I, I, know. Know. I know. I know. Like, it's, it's literally the city what they're totally called. hands the thong to Obi. No, right. pl totally platonic. That said, they're flip flops, not thongs, everybody. There's no yeah. need to use the word thong when there's a totally valid synonym. Thong, thong. Well, yeah, but this like doesn't really. Yeah, have no, a good you're one. using it correctly. It's fine. Leather <laughs> strap. It's like Got if it. I rode an ass to work tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, ride that ass. <laughs> you asked for it. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, he hands the fucking spell necklace to whoever's sitting in the passenger seat. Which is gonna be Obadiah because he's huge. Oh All gosh, right. that's a bad choice. No, somebody, somebody else, else, please. <laughs> Karen, Only I Karen can do that. Sit on oh, lap and if, if, if we can't trust Obadiah for this much, what can we trust him can't for? Sit in the Sasquatch hunting. Yes, that's yeah. about it. This is a okay. Sasquatch detector. So he gets yeah. that. Obadiah. Obadiah, find the Sasquatch. Make me a wits survival roll. Okay. okay. And tell me how many successes you get. Quits. Two successes. So your two successes add two more to Luca's drive pool. All right. Two successes. So, where did that go? I don't know where it went. Uh, you guys get in the car, drive off. Uh, every couple of streets, Obadiah, you shout out when the necklace changes its direction. Fast one. Luca takes the turn. After about uh, a, a really odd roundabout 30 minutes or so of you guys weaving in and out of side streets, it becomes pretty clear that this spell is taking you not on a direct path to where the other cup is, but sort of in a line following the way the path that the cup took. And you guys arrive uh, in downtown Akron at a fairly abandoned looking building. Luca pulls over, parks the car. You guys look at the, uh, the piece of cup hanging off and it's sort of tilted towards the window. Luca pulls back out onto the street, drives around the building as you do, it continues to tilt towards the building. Comes back and parks again. All right. So, uh, right. We're going to do this then, I guess. Yes. Don't we have to? I mean, have to. That. He gets out of the car. <laughs> In answer. Uh, out of the car. I mean, I guess yes. we don't have to do anything, but... <laughs> no, you don't have to. Uh, you guys are standing, staring up at a abandoned building. This doesn't seem sketchy at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can we mm. everybody make me um, perception checks so I will allow wits composure or wits streetwise 
four successes. Toby's on the hunt. Or Obi. God damn it. No successes. Jeez. Four, two, one, zero. All right. Uh, you all, except Karen, notice. Um, <laughs> Lots of spray paint and tags on the building. Uh, boarded up windows on the bottom of the windows, but up the higher up you get, the more windows are sort of broken open and out. Uh, it has the feel of a place that is supposed to look abandoned, but isn't. And Obadiah, you see up in the uh, second floor and the third floor a couple of glints of something, maybe metal, as well as movement past the window here or there. There are Sasquatches upstairs. I alert everyone. I saw the move. How loud do you say that? Mildly. <laughs> like, uh, that's about as quiet as I get. <laughs> you hear, you sort of hear a snort, and then sort of a, uh, and an ow. They heard us. <laughs> Wait, what? What was that last part? Uh, there was, there was a soft snort, and then the sound of a sort of a skin to, or a flesh-to-flesh -flesh impact. Someone got smacked. Uh, wait, upstairs or with... Uh, or, or upstairs. upstairs. You're gonna follow the oh, bomb. Upstairs. Yeah, upstairs. I, they heard us. I say that. Yes. All right, well, I, I say us, even though it's just this. me. Well, in that case, let's move, is what I think. Move where? Yeah. All right, charge! Um, Lucas sort of goes, running wait, at this wait point. guys... And he points at a specific piece of graffiti. I'm already running as soon as somebody said, let's do this. Okay. Uh, I would like to go back towards the car at this point. Let's roll, uh, let's roll initiative at this point. <laughs> God damn it. So that OB I, gets controlled to done. one action. I die, it's on you. No, so that's... Sure, if that's the way you guys want to look at it. I just like at the what's, point, what's the when things happen. Uh, Dex matters. resolve. What is it again? Is it's it a Dex composure. Dex composure, and you roll a single die and add your dexterity and composure. Oh, okay. Cool. So actually, mine should be a seventeen. Mine's plus seven, not plus. Seven. Dex composure, you said. Dex composure, yes. I almost max rolled that. Nice. <laughs> I min rolled. Why do I go before you? Because <laughs> I min rolled. I rolled a one. I hate going first, and I hate going last in initiative order. I like going comfortably in the middle. Like me. No. So I can see what other dumb shit people are doing. <laughs> October. All right, Petra, you had a 17? Yeah. Obadiah, Jeez. you had an 8? Eight. 8. Karen, did I see a 15? 15. Luca had a 16. Toby rolled a 11. And my would you roll? Seven. Seven. All right. And I guess I should...
All right, Petra. Uh, you hear um, Luca say wait and point at a specific uh, tag on one of the walls, and then you see Obadiah start to run forward. Okay, uh, just snap reaction. Do I recognize what Luca's pointing out? Make me a intelligence streetwise. Nice. All right. It is the sign of a local gang. They are called the South Street Ghouls. <laughs> of course they're South Street. Sounds legit. Okay. Uh, again, understand this is all happening really quickly. Do I know anything about them? Not offhand, aside from the fact that, uh, like, you know, they're... A gang? They're, they're a gang. They Like, you've heard stories that they have done some pretty nasty things. Um, you also know that their territory is usually avoided by some of the bigger gangs, which in and of itself is kind of frightening. Okay. Um, in that case, I want to hold my movement until after Luca, because I want to cue off of him. Um, but I'm scanning around for possible cover, uh, possible entrances. Okay, make me a wits composure roll. The entrances, uh, you have the one directly in front of you, mm -hmm. uh, which is a sort of a uh, half boarded up door. The, uh, the other half is broken down, so you'd have to sort of turn it sideways to go in. There's also what looks to be a fire escape on the... If you guys are facing west, that would be the south side of the door, or south side of the building. Okay. East, west, yeah. And on the north side of the building, uh, you can't quite see anything on the north side of the building. Uh, you do remember because you have eidetic memory that when you guys drove past, there was a what looked to be a um, stairway leading down the side of the building. So maybe do a basement entrance of some kind. Okay. Okay. Um, so in that case, all that I want to do is, uh, or actually, no, I just want to completely, just because Luca told me to wait, I'm going to wait for him to act or say anything before I move. Okay. All right. Uh, Obadiah, Luca, um, sort of takes a step after you and slips an arm around your waist and sort of leans his hips against your leg and try is attempting basically to steer you away from your current path. Not not a throw, just sort of a gentle movement. Okay. Do you resist? Uh, not for a moment. Uh, and I say, I thought she said we're doing this. <laughs> uh, no, no, not not yet. These guys are these guys are dangerous. You lied to me. Besides, I I didn't say that. I so said Petra. that, and I said, "Are we?" It was a question. I missed her. I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Karen, it's your turn. Um, I'm just going to kind of stand back and, uh, I don't know. Uh, we're going to slip. Try and observe. This. Okay. What are you trying to observe? I'm just going to see if there's anybody else, like, if I can see where people are. Because I know Obadiah said that he saw movement. And I'm assuming I heard the snort slash smack. <laughs> uh, you you did not. It was very soft. I'm just gonna look for people then. 
Okay. Or movement in any of the windows or whatever. Sure. Make me a wits composure roll. Or uh, investigation. I'll take investigation too. Composure's better. No, I sloppy died. I defended the die gods. I will never get a good roll again. That was cute. Okay. Seriously. Three. Uh, yeah. You look and you see what uh, Obadiah saw before. You notice. Uh, some glints of what looked to be maybe metal or glass uh, up in some of the windows, and you see um, sort of just movement in the shadows. And we're going to slip out of uh, initiative for this exact moment right now, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> since Obadiah didn't resist. <laughs> uh, you. And you all see as a uh, youngish sort of maybe upper 20s, uh, early 30s, a uh, man walks up to just uh, just inside the main entryway. Um, he is probably black, maybe mixed. Uh, you can't tell at this distance. Uh, he's got real, real short cut, almost military hair. He's wearing a leather jacket, um, some glasses. Uh, Car loose cargo pants. Um, honestly, what looks to be really, really nice clothes for what appears to be an abandoned building, which confirms what you got. A lot of you guys had figured out already, which is that is this is not an abandoned building. Can I speak? Sure. Anybody can speak. He just sort of stands there and waits. Um, you will also you would all also notice the uh, very clear assault rifle that he's sort of holding in one hand sort of across his body. One of your people is extremely talented, I have to say. What exactly do you mean? Well, you see, we were collecting something for a dear friend of ours who recently passed, and um, they managed to steal one of a matching set. Right? And we, they didn't even notice. You see him sort of lean back and you don't hear anything as he, you're assuming, talks to somebody else. Uh, he adjusts the rifle, um, sort of throws it on a slap over one shoulder, and... Uh, looks up and down the street and gestures in for you guys to come closer. I walk closer. Alright. I mean, he did sling the gun back at least, so I guess that makes me... Uh, Luca stays probably what would be considered out of a couple of steps reach. Uh, and he, he very clearly has his hands, like, steepled in front of him so that it doesn't look like he's reaching for anything. Um, you guys also notice sort of a look back and forth between him and the uh, the other man. If you guys are going to have a dick measuring contest, can we do it later, please? Oh, no. You see, um, that's not it. I just... I got a little nervous when you bring that kind of firepower down into my neighborhood. Who was talking uh, just now? That was the what you're guessing is the gang leader or the uh i just didn't know the, if it was luca or not luca no 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 that was not luca you don't okay. know his name yet wait when he's referring to firepower what's he referring to he nods at luca my guns <laughs> Obi, i don't think that's what he was referring to but it's exactly what he was referring to you do have very nice arms thank you um <laughs> is is your friend he, here he's crazy? a little excited Yes. I, no, I'm perfectly sane. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Do you believe in Sasquatch? I've never seen one, but I don't have any reason not to. Well, then you'll get along famously. 
Now, I uh, I don't have anybody that I sent to rob somebody who died, so perhaps you might want to explain a little more clearly what you were talking about. Sure. You see, there's this matching set of heirloom silver cups of a sort, right? You know, the fancy kinds that, you know, rich people have. I and might know what you mean, yeah. I think another word for it is, what is it? Chalice, maybe? Something along those lines? <laughs> and we were collecting them. Uh, as I said, one of our friends passed. She had had a very rough time recently. And um, while our friends here were leaving with the set, and we just so happened to find our way here. You know, like calls to life. Oh, okay. So you, uh, you looks over. Okay, you had your little witch friend track us down, did you? I'm not tracking people. I'm just tracking a cup. Luca just sort of shrugs. Hey, man, just pretend I don't really I'm know not if he here. counts as a witch. Just, just pretend power. I'm not here. This isn't really my gig. Uh, he sort of looks at the rest of you and sighs. Everyone, this is Damian Marks, the leader of the South Street Ghouls, and a I don't want to say associate. Damien snorts. How about you just say a pain in your ass? Because that's what you are to me. Luca takes a step back, okay? Um, I'm going to go wait at the car, guys. I curtsy. Nice to meet you. And you are? Karen. Dr. Storm. Sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? Like the X-Men? but less getting shot out of the sky. Also, I don't have magical powers. At least not like that. No. <laughs> well, too bad. I happen to uh, be looking for somebody that has magical powers. So, you guys are looking for a cop. Unfortunately, I'm probably huh? not the person. And honestly, all we need is a cop and we will leave. And never come back if you don't want us to. Well... I faint sense. I'd let you come in and look around, but that might not be the safest thing for you guys to do. So why don't you uh, wait here with Rick and Shooter, and I'll go talk to right. the rest of the folks. And he uh, he nods. Just real to quick before you. Two very thuggy, goony-looking guys standing just out of, into the shadows. Yeah, go ahead. Just, um, why, if I may ask? Would you be looking for someone with magical power? Well, you see, about uh, two, three years ago, this asshole little martial arts so-and-so and his witch friend decided that they were going to start cleaning up the streets of Akron, and unfortunately, he's kind of crossed me the wrong way once or twice. Oh, less exciting than I was thinking it would be. I'm not the one that started the arms race. Let's just put it that way. He turns and walks into the building. I was hoping for something much more interesting. <laughs> it's a goddamn arms race. <laughs> to sing a scene. Start to find it's the background. a goddamn arms race. All right, so he walks up up some stairs, leaves you with uh, Goonie, Mick, Ricker face, and uh, Trigger the Thug. Are we still outside? Uh, you guys are probably standing on the stairs or just inside. Okay. Whichever you prefer. They are both holding what appear to be uh, illegally obtained automatic weapons. How do we know how they were obtained? Well, because they're, they're automatic the weapons. Of legally obtaining them. <laughs> they're, they're, in, unless they're military, which these guys don't seem to be, there are no legal ways. To buy. Oh no, I don't think they're. Never mind. Won't go there. 
Yeah. Healing stun states. They or some are, shit. and they're not automatic. Oh, well, okay. at the very least, in in Ohio, yeah, you can't have automatic. That's true. They could be single shot rifles as opposed to yeah. The fully AR-15s automatic are not. Well, you can buy them legally in single shot versions, and then you can illegally convert them. But these aren't these these aren't AR-15s. These are AKs. So they have yeah. illegal guns. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Anyway, you can't change air. It's very hard to change an air fifteen into an automatic weapon. Just saying. Actually, it's really very hard. Easy. It's possible. Uh, I literally am looking at it right now. I I, <laughs> I know a guy who did it in fifteen minutes. This saying is crazy. Like in front of me. <laughs> Damn arms, wrist. But anyways, no. Like okay, so there's two versions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not important. We'll, we'll go to do it later. So. Do you guys want to do say anything over the course of the next 15, 20 minutes as Damien goes and talks to people? I'm explicitly saying nothing. Okay. The rest of you? I don't, I mean, do they I say am... anything or do they just stare at us? They I feel like... are just staring at you. I feel like Maya would be like, so how's your day, guys? Fucking awesome. That's great. I'm glad to hear it. Are you guys dressing up? How about you? Oh, you know, a little here, a little there, but I guess <laughs> it's all right. Cool. I mean, we're here, right? If you're here, we're here. Yeah, this is this is kind of where we stay normally. Oh, that's cool. During, during the day, at least. Are you guys oh. doing anything for Halloween? During the day. Uh, when Karen says that, uh, he turns and smiles. Oh, uh, no, nothing real. Just uh, maybe a party or two. Are you dressing up? Karen, yeah. make me a wits empathy roll. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay. I have offended the dice god. I already know. Oh, two successes! Fuck yeah! Oh, they have plans for Halloween. You don't necessarily feel good about them. <laughs> but are they dressing up? That's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> I give a shit what they do. Uh, oh, he, he, as long as it's in costume. The other guy, uh, so you were talking to <laughs> yes. Rick, the other guy, Trigger, looks and says, yeah, I'm gonna go as... I, I'm gonna go as Dracula. Well, that's nice. That's a fun costume. Classic. Yeah. Face Ignore paint. Him. I wasn't planning on it, no. Do you have teeth? We all have teeth. Well, you know what I mean, bro. Like the <laughs> like the thing. They're thing. all vampires, by the way. I appreciate that. If you that. didn't get that. I, I appreciate that trigger. He's outside during the day. No, none of them walked out of the building. Is it daylight inside? Uh, no, it's, it's not daylight. Oh my inside. god, it's a nest of vampires. I don't say that out loud, clearly. I Fuck. just said that. I don't know if you were listening. Wait, did you say that it's open daylight? Oh, did you say that out loud? No, I okay. said that. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, no, I, I just They're all you. I vampires. Fucking with us. Uh, Maya, you would know that vampires, unless they're extremely, extremely old, can't just sort of walk around during the day. Like they are, right. they are bound to sleep. Oh. So you don't think they're vampires? You they're just... all old vampires. <laughs> but you do know that their name might be a hint. Rick? The South Street ghouls. They're all vampire ghouls. Their ghouls are like essentially no. zombies. Ghouls are the, so. There's two. There's there's the undead version. But it's also sort yes. of the common slang for people who are addicted to vampire blood. Oh, uh, well, you see, that is not common no, that's, slang. No, that's not cool. Fuck that. That's um. It actually is very common slang in World of Darkness. <laughs> that's well, literally what a ghoul is in the World of Darkness. Okay, well, great. I don't live in the World of Darkness. It's like I've thrall never or whatever it is. It's what thrall. Is it? Thrall. So, sorry, guys. Well, no, no, no. So wait. these aren't like. Sorry, go ahead. No, go. Ahead. 
You can... uh, thralls are more mental slaves. These are just people that like drink the blood and are amped and up together people. they burn. <laughs> so, and I have a question. so yeah. Yes. One of my favorite things went missing recently because someone broke into my house. Yes. If I was to go looking for it, would you have any idea where I would start? It's yep. a book. It's nothing particularly interesting, but it meant a lot to me. Pence, what are you willing to pay to find out? Well, that comes the real issue. I don't really have a whole lot of money, so... Well, I appreciate the thought. So you guys doing any pre-gaming tonight? <laughs> any Bloody Marys? Wait, would Maya know what a ghoul means? Maya does, yes. And I would ask if they're doing any pre-gaming. And you uh, know what that uh, means. He I don't smiles. Know. Maybe what a about, little. What about do you guys usually start on a night like tonight? Whenever the boss says so. Oh, bo oh, it's like that. It's a work party. Uh, it's about this time that Damien sort of walk starts um, back down the stairs, and uh, he is dragging a uh, smallish, uh, scrawny, maybe late forties, early fifties man behind him, and sort of tosses him. Uh, bodily to the ground in front of you guys and says, yeah, it's like that. Now. The man think, with the mysterious talents? I think uh, Adolf here can uh, tell you what we're looking for. <laughs> oh, no. What? <laughs> Fucking what, Cardis? He, uh, he kicks the guy and the guy starts gibbering in German. Is that Does a nickname? Speak German? I went to high school with an Adolf. He was black, so it's a real thing. Sounds German. I know some German in real life, but that's not helpful here. No, it's not. I mean, if Do Petra, I know anything if Petra had there? a second language, that would probably be it. Wait. Based yes. on Wait, things? I had an original Grimm's Brothers book, so I would be able to read German. It did because I do fairy tales and shit. It wouldn't necessarily then again, be only American high school education, so probably not. Uh, after after a, a couple of short um, gibbers, he sort of stops and uh, looks over his shoulder, sort of trembling, and says, I I believe that you are looking for the one that they call Dolly. What was that? What they called Dog? Dolly. Are we talking about her book or the goblet right now? I'm so confused. You guys asked about the goblet. The so goblet. that's what Damien would have brought him about. So he brought him out. So even though the thing was taking us there, the goblet's not there, there's a dude that's telling us about another dude in relation to the goblet. It would seem that way, yes. Okay. Because the thing says the goblet's here. Do you guys have the thing right now? Oh, he still has it. I'm also, still checking for Sasquatch. Also, let the guy talk. Remember that we were following its track, so if it came through here and then left, it would the thing would still guide us From, here. But when uh, I drove around the building, well, we went around it the building. said it was still in here. Yeah, but we never if, got to the point in the building where it left. If Obadiah looks down at the Sasquatch tracker, uh, he will see that it is hanging loose. What is hanging loose? So it's no longer magical power. No. Uh, I mean, it would be stretching in a direction, you would think, unless it's straight down. What? It's It has no magical juice left. Okay. No, no, I mean, it could be right below you. It is directly below me. It's it's unlikely, but it could be. We're checking. <laughs> Ignore him. <laughs> uh, yes, um, Dolly, she is a young girl. She is... Uh, oh my Romany? god, she's the Horcrux. <laughs> Romany! Oh! She, she is, she is Romany. Uh, she sometimes finds things and brings them, but I saw her uh, about an hour ago. She uh, looked 
panicked. What? Why is she then, panicked? Uh, he looks around as though he's looking at something that you guys can't see. I I cannot say. I I tried to help. She did not. I I I don't I don't know. So are they all still lying? inside at this point? We're all They're, inside. I mean, We're not the, inside. The, you guys are would be on the stairs. Yeah, you guys would be either on the stairs or in the main entryway. Uh, eight, Adolf is sort of sprawled into the main, what you would call a foyer, I guess, but it's okay. just sort of an open room. And then Damien is over by the stairs. Okay. okay. And then, of course, Fine. Trigger and Rick are standing, leaning against the walls. Please. Um, at this point, I want to... Please? Sorry. Why what? I want to see if he's lying. What do I roll? Oh, see if he's lying. Sorry, I, I missed half the what you said. Um, yeah. That would be wits empathy. Let me double check that real quick. It feels like wits empathy. Sense motive. Of course, it's not in here because that's the easiest way to. Yeah, it's it's got to be with empathy. Okay. I don't know why it's not on there. Two successes. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's lying. He seems legitimately scared. Um, and as though he doesn't have any reason to lie to you. Um, I would like to crouch down and just sort of look at him for a moment. Uh, I mean, because he's like down on the ground. And I want to ask him, we came here asking about a goblet, and now you're telling us about a person. Why? I, I saw I, I saw something in, in her back. I tried to take it. She, uh, he sort of, you see now that he's been sort of favoring one side, and you see a little bit of blood along staining his uh, white, well, what, what, what might once have been a white tank top, but now is uh, stained. Mm -hmm. with a lot of stuff. Um, you see, like, sort of a pool of blood. She she stabbed me. She, uh... I was... I I ran, and, uh... Then I fell asleep. Was she here? Yes, she sometimes uh, trades with the... men. Do you know where we can find her? If she's not here, it depends on uh, what she's doing. Sometimes uh, she stays at shelters. Sometimes you can find her uh, working the streets. It just depends on what her needs are at the time. I'm sorry. This this is all I know. I'm. This it's all I know. I I just say thank you, sir. And I stand back up. Damien shoots him a look and he sort of scrabbles his way out the door and runs down the street. Do we know why Damien is helping us instead of like being a gang lord right now? You don't? Alright, um. Not he I takes... feel like, go ahead. go ahead. I feel like I would look at Damien and be like, "Hey, I really appreciate this. I'm not like quite sure why you're helping us out, but thanks." 
I tell you what. I was just thinking what you could do for me. So that's what it is. Law of the street. Help and help alike, right? So what you're saying is you thought that there was something we could help you with at the beginning. What I'm saying is I like to avoid any sort of conflict with your friend outside if I have to, as long as I can. However, since I was able to help you a little bit, and since I happen to know the streets that Dolly prefers to work, I think we can arrange a little trade. Okay. What are you proposing? Well, I need assets, magically speaking. (laughs) That is incredibly vague. It's an incredibly vague situation, unfortunately. I can't tell you exactly what I want, but suffice to say, what I need is somebody that can lay down protections on a building. I can protect buildings. Protections of a metaphysical type. I'm very physical. (laughs) I've noticed. (laughs) I'm perfect, right? I just pat Obi on the, the arm. Is... I tell you what. You looking for a job? Yes. I can always use extra muscle. Muscle. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Why? I'm not telling you this in real life. Well, I say why anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, you ever you ever uh, need some cash? He uh, takes out a card, hands it to you. Who knew gang lords had business cards? Says he's the Joker, obviously. No. Uh, it says Damien Marks, and then it says Attorney at Law. The cover. Huh. <laughs> you could use some of that too sometimes, Obi. Perfect. Like I said I can always use I can always use a little extra muscle. So I happen to know that. Uh, our friend outside, what ha- happens to have a uh, associate, but I don't really care who it is. You guys run across somebody that can protect a area from intrusion or attack by things from our side of the street. Send them my way. And we'll call By ourselves our side, Hold on. Oh, sorry. By our side of the street, is he referring to people or non-people? He's referring I'm to... I'm honestly the, confused. He's referring to sort of the spooky side. So, okay. non-people. Well, or people or with people. special how, abilities. How quickly do you need said uh, help? The sooner the better, but we've managed I'm this so long. concerned about Halloween... Sir, or are you just concerned in general? Oh no, no. This is this is plans I've had in in mind for a while. Ooh. Well, you see, here's the issue. While you were able to provide us some help, unfortunately, we didn't find what we came here for, and we're kind of on a wild goose chase still. That being said, I'm not sure that's equivalent with full building protections of a magical sort. No, I'm not asking you to do it. I'm just asking you, if you find someone, you send them my way. I'll pay whatever you price they request. I'll, I'll just ask Yes, you. but we are giving you, you a another, direct asset. Do you have another one of those cards? I do. He hands it to you. Okay. And I'm not saying anything else. I am just taking the card, though. I tell you what, I'll do you one better, Miss Karen, right? Yep. 
as I threw my dime. Oh, oh god. I'll let, I'll let my boys know if they see Dolly to give me a call, and then I'll give you a call. Acceptable. I, I look over at Karen at that. What? Look over with what intention? I. I, I'm actually all right. So, like, I'm actually trying to convey disapproval at her snap accepting that, but very, very subtly. All right, Damien pulls out a phone and uh, looks to you, Karen. I'm, I give him my phone number. I'm slinking. He takes back it down. To, I'm slinking back to the car. To check in with Luca on if this is a terrible idea. Uh, he takes the phone number, closes it, puts it back in his phone. All right. Like I said, I'll let my boys know. If they see anything, I'll let you know. Can the, I give uh, you a little bit of advice for free, Damien? Oh, please do. Be very, very careful on the upcoming nights. More so than usual. And I'm sure you guys can take care of yourselves handily, but... There are some interesting things at play. So just keep watch on your people. He gives you an odd sort of look. Like, all of a sudden, he thinks you know more than he thought you did before. And then he sort of shakes his head and his face becomes a neutral mask again. If I were you, I'd, uh, I'd watch out after myself. Unfortunately, it's a little too late for that. But I appreciate the thought. Now, if you don't mind. He sort of gestures towards the door. Um, I leave. As people are... And say goodbye to the other two guys. Are moving out. I want to look at him and say, Mr. Marks, I appreciate what you did here. And I hold up the business card. And I'm taking this because you helped facilitate our business and I'm happy to help facilitate yours in return. That being said, as far as I'm concerned, you don't need to help us. Karen doesn't speak for all of us. We all manage our own way. Do you understand? I think I know what you mean, yeah. I want no trouble. Thank you. And I turn and leave. Okay. So... You guys go back out to the car. Uh, oh, because I forgot to actually say the the streets. Uh, he gave you a handful of streets that Dolly works. Um, some of them she does Romany stuff. Some of them she does more adult things. Prostitution! That. You're among welcome. Other, among others. Uh, from from the short conversation, it seems like maybe she has her fingers in a lot of pies. Oh. Oh, yeah. What are you guys going to do? All the pie holes. Uh, Maya, you head back out to check on Luca. Uh, he's sort of just leaning against the car. Uh, you know the look. It's when he's trying to look relaxed, but is actually he's trying to watch everything at once. How much of that did you catch? Not worried about it. I, uh, I trust you guys are smart enough not to do anything stupid or try to get into bed with him, so... I'm not sure, but I think a little bit of that might have happened. Right. I don't what do you know. mean? 
there was some wishy-washy-ish. Okay, I'll take your card. Oh, maybe I'll do this if you maybe do this going on. Oh, that's just that's just Damien's way of talking. Don't worry about it, Chica. Okay. He's good to his word, ruthless, cold, heartless, and wants me very, very dead. Then why did he help us? I'm so confused. Because he's above all a businessman. So he, and he wants and he you also, dead, but he wants yeah. you alive. No, he wants me dead, but he knows the cost it might cost. The co okay. He knows the what it might take. Okay. Okay, then I, I think we're okay. It'll be all right. Just, uh, you see that tag? You keep your eyes. See that what? He nods over at the, uh, the gang tag. You see oh. that tag? You keep your eyes out. Got it. Of course, this whole area can sometimes be dangerous. So, so they're not fully people, right? Depends. Damien's a ghoul. I'm not sure about all the others. I assume some of them are, some of them aren't. Gross. I've never, uh... Never been able to figure out who his... Master is, but... Who Damien's master is. Yeah. Do you know anything, so th what they were like looking to get out of us was help protecting a building? To me, I felt like maybe that could backfire if we helped with that. Could, but protect from what? Protect how? Magically, they, he wouldn't get into anything specific. He was just like, I need some magical protection for this building. Oh. Oh. Interesting. So if you know anyone, send them my way. I can't say for sure, but if I had to guess, and you guys are probably coming up about now, if I had to guess, he might be trying to protect it from other vampires. Ah. There's a lot of territory turfs going on around here. Especially territory turfs. So that they can eat the blood instead of the vampires. Territory wars? Turf wars. You said territory I turfs. I realized it after I said it. That's okay. Territory turfs. I'll be right back. Territory turfs, you know. Yeah. All right, well. Did we get what we came for, though? Yeah. You guys want to tell him? No. Yeah, we... So this enigmatic girl who we've been trying to follow, we think she has it. Well, shit. I know, right? Alright, and where do we find this enigmatic girl? I'm thinking that's step two. Should we check out the funeral home first? Tell us if they found her. Well, if she was at the other house... Maybe she's already been there, or maybe we meet her there. She doesn't seem to have a car, so maybe we should head over. Fair. Um, she's picking them all up. How much time have we wasted? Uh, it's been about hour, hour and a half since you guys uh, picked so it's up like the... like 1.30? It's been about an hour, hour and a half since you guys got to the... Uh, the house, so maybe one, maybe about two o'clock. I say we head to the funeral home. Can't hurt. Don't have anything right. else to go on at the moment. That's what I'm saying. Uh, all right, let's get in the car. Let's head out. Petra, mm -hmm. keep an eye over your shoulder while we leave. I'd like to know if somebody sends a tail after us. Okay. Everybody gets in the we car. Have crows. Yeah, but I meant a more bipedal one. To see if they can interesting. Now that's leave the house. Uh, all right, you guys get in the car, pull off. Uh, Muka goes. Oh, hey Maya. Uh, can you call and check in on Vi for me? Can do. 
and you guys hop on the expressway, head down, get off. Did I notice cool anything? Up. I guess not. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Sorry, make your roll. Okay. Oh shit. No, you did not. <laughs> Uh, anybody else that wants to sort of keep an eye out as you guys I pull away can I will, because I think this is great. What's yep. the role? With composure. Vitus and Composure. Two. So, one and... No, two and two. Uh, okay, to anyone? Yes. I have six successes. Jesus Christ! Jeez Louise. You notice everything. I see everything. <laughs> okay. Um, Wait, is that a Hearthstone? I actually, I actually have to roll against that. Good luck. Don't fall. Uh, okay. Sorry about it. I'm good. Four, five. Okay. Uh, so Maya, Karen, you guys watch as you guys um, pull away. Uh, you see Damien sort of lean out, watch as your guys' car pulls away, lean back in, and then you guys notice that a couple of guys leave the building. Um, they're not following you guys. They're actually um, turning and heading in the opposite direction. So some people can leave the building. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, if they're Obadiah, ghouls, that would be a problem, right? Yeah, if they're ghouls, they're not, they're not subject to sunlight rules. You would know that. Oh, right. Um, Obadiah. Obadiah. As you guys uh, pull past the building and drive past a uh, look another block or two down, you see a woman sitting at a it's sort of a wine bar, coffee shop kind of place, um, very urban chic kind of thing. Urban <laughs> chic. I don't know. What do they call that? Like, where it's, like, supposed to be, like, blending into the urban environment, but, like, it's upscale at the same time? That's good. Okay. Like, I, I thought that's what they called it. Just a cafe. It works. It, yeah, but it's, like, like one of those... Scale. Yeah. It okay, works. fine. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Stop making fun of my words. Um, you don't know why exactly you noticed her until you watch as uh, as you're driving past pulls out a cup she <laughs> sets the book she's reading down and she meets your gaze for just a second and you feel like this weird moment and then she winks ha she's a Mid thirties, proper looking woman wearing a smart business skirt suit of a charcoal black. She has dark hair that she has bound up into sort of a no nonsense bun. Okay. And then you continue on by. Are you gonna do anything, Obadiah? Like, I point her out. I don't know. Like, look, a businesswoman. <laughs> she winked at me. Yeah, I think she wants my dick. All right. This is where we are. Or... This is where okay. Are. Do you all, do you all look? I, if Obadiah, it's Obadiah. I mean, so it it's sounds like... like we've driven past at this point, right? I mean, she'd be off in the distance. I would bit. look. You know, okay, guys. I know 
the kid says a lot of weird shit, but usually he's actually noting. Okay, now kids. you guys are past. <laughs> I was looking. I said I was looking. Okay. There's no one there. I'm saying we turn around. There's no one there. In the thing anymore? There's no one there. Like, Nobody's else, sitting outside nobody the cafe. Got it. It's concerning. Can you describe what she looks like? A businesswoman. Thank you. <laughs> With a no nonsense if, bun. If he wants to describe her the way I described her, he can do that. I can't actually. <laughs> well, here's the issue. I don't necessarily. I don't have the vocabulary. No, the Obi doesn't lie, correct? He just sometimes doesn't understand reality. Sure. I honestly believe he saw He's something. Just, he just talks different from you and I. So when he says he saw somebody, he did. Yeah. Yeah, I, I believe it. We just Why else would I say so? We just can't believe all the details, necessarily. He, he said he saw a sort of a middle-aged woman in a uh, business suit. Maybe a nice updo, but what that's just me guessing. About, what was weird about her? Besides the winking? Ah! He didn't tell us that technically yet. It's true. Mm. It was a business move. Hello? Hi. Seriously? Can you not hear us? Do this to me. We can hear. Uh, rip. Am I really quiet? I feel like Cruz has been ignoring me all that game. Your mm. voice is a little bit off. It's been uh, well, like I can't slightly... hear you because I've you muted. So it's no? been slightly off of your mouth. No. Still not working? Oh, so like, I mean, you've had lag. Yeah. We can hear you, Karnas. Oh, he can't hear us. No, he can't. Yeah, uh, my cord comes half out, and then it, like, doesn't work after I try to plug it back in. Can you hear us now? Yes. Okay. All right. So you guys uh, continue driving, and you get on the expressway, head down to the south side of the city. Not to be confused with the South Street Ghouls, which are actually downtown. Uh, <laughs> and pull off, pull up to... I looked up the name, but I don't remember what it is right now. The Browns. Uh, Browns. Was it Browns? It no, it wasn't Browns. No. All right. Uh, anyways, pull up to the funeral home. And... No, you said it's Browns Funeral Home. Did I say it's Browns? You did. Okay. Session two. All right. Well, then, then I just thought you were making fun of me again. No. Do I ever make uh, fun of you? Every second of every day. Um, Always. <laughs> So you pull up to Brown's Funeral Home, and that's where we're going to call it, because it's 10.36. Alright, everybody say goodbye to the stream. Goodbye, stream. Goodbye, stream. Sorry for difficulties. Bye. Bye.